Hi guys, it's David again, and this isn't really an unboxing because I already opened it, but more of a, of, a, of a quick look and installation guide to micro SDHC or SD cards on the Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone. So basically what about this is this Chansen 16GB card, and up here, what's quite important is it's class 6, it means it's faster on um, write speeds, and here you can also see it gives you up to... 15 megabytes per second of write speeds. Um, so, really, this is it, it's, it's a pretty good card. Also, wait, I'm going to show this to you in live so you just open up the back. And you get the little flop plastic cover, which you can just open like so. Now, what is this big card? Now, what this card does is I'm going to try to get this to autofocus. if possible. You can see the little slot there. This is where you can put your micro SDHC or SD card in and then pl put this side into a normal um, SD card reader which is something many of you guys have. So this is really handy because not many card readers support these very very tiny and quite cute micro SDHC or micro SD cards. On the card itself, put it in the palm of my hand, um, all it says is information about it, so um, it's 16 gigabytes, a micro SDHC card, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, the way you're going to be placing this in your phone is um, make sure it's powered down. See, there's nothing, nothing working. Um, then back here, there's this little latch right here. Now, you need some fingernails or some screwdriver or something, and then just open it up and it's going to sound like you're breaking the plastic. It's a thin cover. Right here's your SIM card. And I didn't go through this in my unboxing, but I will in my review. Here's a SIM card. Here's a camera, which is um, going to be not, sh well, it's just going to show outside. You have to take your battery out. That's why you have to power it on the phone. So what you do is you take your battery out, like so, and then place the SIM card. Um, there's a little picture drawn next to the SIM card slot right here the way you have to put it in. I can't see it so I have to look at it myself so you have to put the card in like this so with the edges looking towards the center of the phone just put the card right in there and you should feel it when you push it in you should hear a click or feel it and then it goes back and it stays there and that's pretty much it so what you do is you Replace your battery and you put your back cover back on. Also, when you put your back cover back on, is you have to first slide it in the bottom like so and then go along the edges clipping in each plastic pin. And again, this is going to be the part where you're going to be like, oh, I bought a cheap phone. Although this is the very large difference of a cheap phone. And you can power it up, enter your pin code, and you will have access to the files on your card. Also, when you use your sync cable for syncing files, and you connect your phone to the computer, you will see a designated folder called card. So you can access the files on your card um, through cable, which is sometimes faster than having a slow um, card reader. So thank you for checking out this installation guide unboxing for the um, Transcend 16GB uh, uh, micro SDHC card. Um, if you like the video, um, also check out my other videos on the Samsung Galaxy S2 and check out my channel. Thanks for watching.